can you hear it? It's the sound of children playing, and they're playing with abandon, as if they don't have a care in the world. It's the sound of strength, of kids who are growing strong physically, mentally, and spiritually. Pretty amazing, considering that these African children are orphans who, not long ago, were calling out for help and hope, and local churches like yours answered. Every school day in the Central African Republic, hand-in-hand orphan schools, in partnership with their sister churches in North America, are blessing as many as 50 orphans with real help, food, education, medical help, moral support, and in a word, hope. Come along with us for a tour of your school with Barb Wooler. Greetings to our friends there at the Bowling Green Grace Brethren Church, and welcome to the Central African Republic. What a great year of partnership we have had as we have worked together to feed and educate African orphans. Thank you so much for sending Jody and Tom to meet your children, Teacher Dorcas, and your church family at Gumbutu. Their presence and the tokens of love you sent with them. Communicated perfectly your love, care, and sense of partnership in this hand-in-hand endeavor. I've spent most of my adult life teaching children and adults to read in the Central African Republic. It took me some time to realize that the learning styles of primary oral learners, such as the people of the Central African Republic, is different from ours in North America. The African teaching style incorporates a lot of rote memory, whereas in the West, our primary focus is on rational cognitive processes. I learned from experience that the best way to teach Central Africans must include both. Well, your children certainly learn a lot by rote memory, such as the alphabet, using the alphabet song. Or about Jesus with songs such as this. They learn the times tables using long recitations such as this. They learn the French language using French recitation. They even learn about their country, learning patriotic verses. After observing your class for two months, coordinator Emmanuel Bouyete decided that the rote memory of your school needed to be counterweighted with a little more non-rote memory exercises. So he spent an entire week observing and coaching Teacher Dorcas. That was in January of 2010, and his efforts were rewarded by the better academic achievement we observed in the second half of the year. Other than this issue, your school at Gumbutu operated perfectly. The lunch program worked great, proven by how much the children grew this year. The Gumbutu Church is a model hand-in-hand -hand orphan school, in that they have truly welcomed these orphans into their church family. They even gave of their own resources to make uniforms for the children, and they celebrate the achievements of the children. Thank you for three amazing years of partnership so far with the Gumbutu Grace Brethren Church. What a difference you have made for these children, providing hope and a future for these orphans who, without your help, would have gone without. On their behalf and on behalf of your sister church in Gumbutu, Central African Republic, thank you. So now you see and hear the difference you and your sister church in the Central African Republic are making for orphans. This isn't just the sound of kids thriving. It's the sound of God's people, Americans and Africans, working together to make a difference every day for needy kids. A difference for eternity. A difference for life. A difference for the Central African Republic as these kids become doctors, 
teachers, godly moms, godly dads, mayors of their towns, lawyers, honest merchants, farmers, taxi drivers, masons, seamstresses. Pastors, electricians, policemen.